Well, um, I was looking for pomp and circumstance. Uh, I couldn't find it. I wasn't going to play Schools Out by <laughs> by Alice Cooper, so we will just press on into our next conversation uh, without a musical uh, interlude, Mr. Tormey. Um, we've had a, a fun opportunity to talk to some folks uh, from the uh, Yakima School District on Monday to, uh, to uh, Lois Menard and the folks from the Yakima Online School, some of their parents. Uh, today's guest, as we focus in on saluting our graduates and on our teaching and, and teachers and staff and everybody involved in education, uh, we turn our attention to Stanton Academy. Yeah. And uh, do we have uh, Dave on the phone? We do. Principal uh, Dave Chaplin, how are you? Hello, Dave. Pretty good. How are you guys doing? We're good. Who else is hanging out with you there, Dave? Well, today I have two of our graduate our graduates, uh, Maeli Barajas and Aliyah Cordova, Woo. and then one of the senior advisors. I have Miss Brianna Henry with us on the line today. All right, let me get these names down. So we've got Aliyah. Who's our other student? Maeli. Maeli. Uh huh. And then Miss Brianna Henry. Brianna mm -hmm. Henry. You know, I've already gotten, I already got a text about Brianna. One of your oh really? One of your fans <laughs> out there said, "Oh, you're gonna love Brianna. She's ah. delightful." So you've got a fan club. Oh well, that's good to that's hear. Cool. I'll, I'll hope to live up to it. <laughs> that's why I invite I invited them so they could talk, and you didn't have to listen to me. Well, you're not gonna totally get off, but we'll start with them, Alia and uh, Mayali. How are you guys? Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. We are good. Excellent. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, did you start, where did you start school? I mean, Stanton doesn't seem to be like where people start out, do they? That's kind of like a, um, well, clarify us. How, well, how does this whole Stanton thing work? Um, so I'm Mayeli, and well, for me, I initially started attending school at Highland, and after that, I dropped out, and then um, I decided to go back to school after a year, yeah. and I started to go to Stanton. Good for you. Yeah. Not, you know, once you're out, a lot of times kids don't uh, aren't able to turn it around and get back into school. But uh, props to you, young lady, for yeah. making that happen. So, uh, <laughs> and now you're and now you're a graduate. Yeah. For crying out loud. Yeah. So, uh, what was the best thing about Stanton for you? Um. Well, from the time that I've been there, I feel like the best thing was the teachers. They're very helpful and they're so kind and supportive. And they're there whenever you need them. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot. Did you not think that other teachers were that way? Or do you think the year away and whatever it was you're dealing with changed your perspective and, and now you were a little more mature to, to appreciate and, and deal with what you had to deal with? Well, um, uh, well other schools I've been to, because I've been to – Different schools um, throughout high school. I was at Highland first, and then I moved to Eisenhower, and then I went back to Highland, and then that's when I dropped out, and I went to Stanton. And so... Um, you're like a rubber well, ball. Teachers, you're, you're, just, you're just bouncing <laughs> teachers, around, girl. What's, in, what's going on? <laughs> All right, so, so you found a home at Stanton. That's what counts, you. right? Yeah, and then so I guess the teachers in other schools just have so many students to worry about. They don't really try to, they like, they try to help, but it's not always helpful. Yeah, so you, um, got, you got some individual, you got some individual attention there from these teachers, right? E yes. Yeah. And, um, and so, like, they're always there for you. Like, even if you're going through something, like, personally, like, in your life yeah. or just, I was in just, general, I was just going to say it sounds like you've also made friends with some teachers too, though, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, good for you. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't always happen at the bigger schools when you can hardly, you know, you just the teachers are just so darn busy. You That's get lost right. in a, lost in a cl uh, yeah. crowd, and yeah. that doesn't always work. What do you think your plans are, um, and Leah, uh, my Ellie, for moving forward? Um, my plan. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> my Ellie, why don't you go first? Yeah. Okay. So um, my plan, well, um, I plan to go to college. I want to go into nursing. 
Hey, good for you. All right, so let me recommend that you don't start at Washington and then move to Washington State and then move to Central. <laughs> <and> then... <laughs> Find a program that fits and do your thing, girl. Uh, congratulations to you. Yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, you uh, you know the importance of an education. You hunted around till you found a program that worked with for you, and you made it happen. I think that's amazing, and uh, and a big shout-out to you for getting her done. Thank you. All right. Do we have Aliyah? Are you there, too? Yes. So um, tell us, where, where did you start your school process at? Um, I started at Davis. And then and how many years did you? I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I only stayed there for a semester. Um, so my original plan was I wanted to start off at Stanton. But my, I made a deal with my sister, <laughs> and so she said if I went to Davis or Ike for at least half of a semester, then she would consider letting me transfer over. And I ended up winning and getting to go to Stanton, <laughs> which hey. in my opinion was the best, um, the best decision that I ever made because, wow. uh, like my Ali said, you get like pretty much one-on-one with the teachers um and it's never like a i guess it's not a, a hassle to try to get help from sure. teachers yeah sure and you know Ali, got, one, one of the things that we hear about all the time Lee, is that you know uh one of the concerns for education in general is that we try to have one thing work for everybody and and, and you know it's nice to hear here in yakima how Staten offers special stuff. The online school offers special stuff. No, all kids aren't the same. All needs aren't the same. All interests aren't the same. And so, for you know, you to find a school that gives you the uh, that the hands-on, one-on-one time that you need, man, oh man, made all the difference, right? Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think you're going to do then, young lady? When uh, you're done, are you going to? Uh, Go out and change the world or get a job or what's going to happen? Um, I'm going to college for social work. You are? All right. Well, good for you. That's awesome. Um, uh, what would you want the community to know? Both you ladies can uh, jump in on this. What do you want folks to know about Stanton? What would you say? Hey, I don't know what you know about Stanton. I don't know what you think about Stanton. But this is what Staten's all about. So, uh, Aaliyah, what would you what would you tell all the people listening? Because there's quite a few folks listening, you know. Don't get nervous or anything. But <laughs> um, I would say it's not um, a bad school, like every uh, like of uh, people that I know um, try to make it sound. Um, we're really just a big family. Honestly, everybody's kind of there for each other. Um, the staff is amazing. <laughs> um, no matter what the problem is, they'll always try to help you. And that's how it is with the students as well. Um, but that's we're pretty, cool. pretty much we're a big family, and it's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> All right. That's a pretty good uh, recommendation. I bet there's a principal and a teacher sitting there smiling uh, <laughs> somewhere. We'll get to them in a second. But, I mean, I think that's the message. I, I, and I do think, you know, oh, Stanton, that's a, that's not one of the regular schools. So, oh, something can't be, you know, it's not, it's different or it's not the, it's not good or, you know, whatever the words that people might use. Um, but I bet you guys have more of a family situation there than they do at the bigger schools that you, yeah. you can't help but have that. Um, and, and I suppose it's safe to say that maybe people go to Stanton, have more stuff outside of school in their lives that they're dealing with. And so... You know, they need a different sort of a approach to uh, education. Um, any, any last words that uh, either of you uh, fine, upstanding graduates, congratulations, want to wanna say? Um, well, I totally agree with what Aaliyah said. Um, a lot of people tend to look down upon uh, Stanton. They say it's a school for bad kids, but it really isn't, like, People build relationships with staff and students, and they get to make more friends and get to know each other better. And, like, some people, like, maybe going down the wrong path, but 
then like they get it straight like once you go like once you attend that and see the staff and get to know everything and how it is um it makes just it makes your life better yeah i don't know do you guys ever get that sense you know sometimes you feel like the world's picking on you or doesn't understand and yet with Stanton, you've got to like, hey, it's us against the world, and we're a family, and we're getting our education, and we're not doing it like you. But so what? We're gonna we're gonna graduate, and we're gonna go on and have great lives anyway, right? Yeah, hmm. that's right. Well, I think that's awesome. I think that yeah. it, it sounds like uh, Mr. I don't want to talk <laughs> Chaplin there came up with a couple of pretty good <laughs> students to, uh, <laughs> to who, who totally get it and uh, know how to represent. So, ladies, to you both, congratulations. To all the other students uh, that are uh, going to attend, that are attending, and the other graduates out there for Stanton, uh, this part of the family moves on, but uh, the idea of uh, a family continues uh, for the next kids that come in to take your seats. So, Aliyah and Maeli, we wish you guys the very best of luck. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You're very welcome. Uh, Brianna, let's uh, drag you in here. How are you? All right. Good morning. How Hi, are you? Yeah. I'll tell you what, um, somebody you read the brochure and got it right, didn't they? <laughs> Holy smoke. <laughs> yes, Stanton is a truly incredible place. I mean, as our, those graduates reiterated, I mean, there's a lot of perceptions about Stanton within our district and within the community, but the moment anybody walks into our doors, whether it's students or families or community members, I think they see you know, the wonderful place it really is. And, you know, for the students coming from all these different backgrounds who may have not found success in other places or maybe just felt like they didn't belong, um, Stanton really has become that place for them to, to feel safe and then to, to succeed. So I'm just, I feel so thankful every day to be a part of, of that incredible system. Is, that it, school. It, it is, a, is it a, a byproduct of just being a smaller place or is it uh a byproduct of, uh, of uh, you know, we always say the fish stinks from the head. Well, that that's, can be an insult and a compliment. Um, <laughs> so is that part of uh, the, the, uh, the, the way that uh, Mr. Chaplin runs the show? Is it, I mean, why is it that people that, uh, that maybe don't plug in other places uh, get this uniformly family-type feeling there? Yeah, I think it's a combination of all things. Um, being smaller, that definitely lends, as a student said, to us having um, a closer connection with students, being able to help them um, more often than not, and them feeling like they're really a part and not just a number. But certainly, you know, a bunch of bodies in a small school wouldn't make it that special place. So Mr. Chaplin, uh, Ms. Harris, all of the incredible staff at Stanton that really pour their heart um, into this work and into these students and have chosen Stanton to be the place that we want to teach. You know, when I started my, my teaching career at Stanton, I got similar, you know, looks and opinions that some students said, like, is that really where you want to teach? Is that, you know, isn't that school full of trouble? And, you know, it has just been a joy of my career to say, no, you know, this is actually the best school and the people inside that school are really what, what make it that way. Sounds pretty special. How many uh, students uh, are we talking about? How many are all the grades there or? or... Yeah, we, we have nine through 12. Uh, Mr. Chaplin may get on and correct me here, but I think we we're serving about um, 300. Uh, 340. 340. 340. <laughs> I was close. That's a, that's a... <laughs> That's a lot of turkeys for turkey dinner for the family, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, I remember the kids, though, when they, they arrive, they're ready to, you know, like, like a couple of your students there. I mean, they've kind of been through a journey, and they're, they're ready to kind of settle down and get to work finally, huh? Yeah, and, you know, sort of in the past, as you said, Stanton wasn't always the first place destination right. for some of these students. They found their way. But in the past few years that I have worked there, we've really um, made an effort to sort of reinvent that image of what Stanton can be. And we're finding more and more each year that students are making that their, their school of choice. You good. know, the good word is sort of getting out about, about um, who we are and what we can do. And, um, yeah, we're definitely seeing Stanton become a place where students are actively wanting to be. And that, that of course, makes us all very happy. Yeah, that's good pretty stuff. cool. All right, so now you can't, you can't hide after a setup like that. 
Mr. Chaplain. <laughs> you got to you got to come in here. So we we transition and with all due respect from the island of misfit toys to the front shelf of the toy store, right? I mean, that's pretty darn cool. Well, are you asking well, we make a uh, we keep track of the number of connections that we have with students. It's something that we do from the first time a student walks in. Uh, either Ms. Harris, the assistant principal, or myself interview the student to find out what kind of experience they have with school as a whole. And then from that point forward, we work to individually with that student to make sure the plan is to fill the gaps that they may, they may have had at previous schools, either academically, socially, or emotionally, so that those are no longer barriers for them to be successful, like our two graduates who have full-ride scholarships to college next year. Wow. And um, they, uh, you know, everybody has a story before they come to us. And if we focus on that story, it tends to repeat itself. But if we focus on a plan for the future and a plan for success from the first time they walk through the door, then we, uh, we've we experienced quite a bit of success. And all of that starts with treating each student like they're part of our family and making sure the academic relationship is there as well as the social and emotional relationship. Man, and, you, you just said a mouthful, the whole idea about where you put your focus. Everybody yeah. has a past. What you're here is from this moment forward. Where are we going? Correct. What are we going to do? And how are we going to do it and, and make it work? And uh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, we you know we have a lot of students who have made choices in the past that have haven't been helpful to them. But if they, one of the things we really try to do is say, hey, you know that is the past. Learn from it, and let's find what we can do. Find your strengths. Find where you what you need for support, whether it's support outside of school or inside of school. My staff is one of the most fantastic staffs I've ever worked with, and this being my 37th year completed wow. in education, uh, I couldn't choose. I wouldn't choose to work anyplace else, and I just love working at Stanton because of the the different story every student has, and watching a group of adults who come together as a team to support each student and. Every day is a new day for each student because students don't always have good days. And so they're just a phenomenal group of people, and I'm glad that the district supports us as much as they do in offering the programs that we can offer here at Stanton. That's fantastic. You know, it's a, that is a great, great story. My wife is a teacher uh, out in East Valley, and, you know, I, I hear from her about, you know, her schedule, the number of kids, I mean, that's still a smaller district, but all the stuff that they have to do. Um, and, you know, she gets so invested in, in the kids' lives and, and really wants to see them succeed, but maybe the, 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 the scheduling or the what have you doesn't allow for, for that much individual um, uh, attention. And mm -hmm. it sounds like it's Stanton. I mean, if I'm a teacher, that's what I want. I, I want to change lives. I want to create mm -hmm. learners. I want to see people go from mm -hmm. A to B in the in the quality of their life and how they how they learn and how they want to live their lives and all of that. Uh, you guys are closer to that probably than than teachers in the, the regular schools. Yeah. Well, you have to realize that a lot of our students have gone through traditional with quotation marks education and and haven't found that working for them. And so we try not to repeat what hasn't worked in the past, but find new ways to help them be successful in the future. And again, it's all about when we start with the kids, it's what can we help you do to be successful? And that takes the empathy and, and the hope and the resiliency of the student, as well as the staff in the effort that they put into the work they do. And I think you heard that in Brianna's voice too. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we did. And, and the, uh, your students certainly uh, have got it and, and lived it and are appreciative of it. I mean, they clearly uh, see the difference between what was available to them there and where they are versus where they thought they might be when they were dropping out or changing schools. So, yeah. Uh, well, and I also, if I can just jump in for a second, I, don't, I often think our students don't give themselves enough credit, you know, we tend to hear them thanking us a lot and the support they get from us, but our students are truly the ones 
you know, their resiliency, the things that they have overcome in their lives to get to the point where, you know, where maybe for someone else just showing up to high school is too much. And they have fought through and decided that, you know, this is their plan and this is their future. And not only that, we see many of our students and graduate and go into careers that will allow them to give back. You know, uh, Mayeli with nursing and Aaliyah with social work. A lot of that is because they've been a part of these systems. They've, you know, made it through their education and now want to help others who have been in that um, that situation moving forward. So we are just incredibly proud of them. And like I said, I think sometimes it's hard for them to see the strength that they've had because whatever chaos might have been before, that was just normal life to them. And so for us to be able to see the full experience has just truly been so wonderful. We are so, so proud of each of them. So when they stand there as graduates, uh, the diploma for them might just be a, a handheld mirror. Look Look at that person, because you, you're the one that got her done. Absolutely. Pretty cool, guys. I got to tell you, I'm impressed um, and delighted that we have a chance to hear from some of your students and to kind of let the community know what the environment is like there and, and what uh, – if, if I'm a parent and I'm concerned about my, my child – um, and I'm thinking maybe Stanton is the right direction. What? How do I go about maybe becoming a, a, a you know having my kid become a student of Stanton out of the out of the gate? How does that work? <laughs> Give us a call <laughs> five five seven three one two zero zero. <laughs> we don't want to flood your school with uh, people, but man, I tell you, you're making a a pretty good sales pitch uh, just by telling us what you do. Well. Again, you come in our doors, we're going to try to get you. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Principal. Well said. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Uh, and- Mayeli, Aaliyah. Uh, Brianna and uh, and Dave, thank you, guys. Uh, we really appreciate it. Congratulations to you all. Who knows what next year is going to bring, but I suspect uh, Stanton will find a way to handle that challenge like they handle all the other challenges. And uh, as your students head out into the world and uh, and have had a successful experience behind them now to build on going forward, uh, some great stories to come back to you down the road as uh, they make their way through uh, through this thing we call our lives. Thank you yeah. so much, guys. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Have a great, great summer. Yeah. If we even get to have a summer.